In this video, we will see how to create a histogram chart in Tableau. A histogram we use to visualize the distribution of a particular measure in our data set. So here we are taking the example of quantity measure and we are going to see how the quantity measure is distributed over the data set. For that, first we have to create a bin based on the particular measure that we are going to visualize. So here we are taking quantity. So I am going to create a bin based on the quantity measure. So click on create. Now click on bin. Now uh, we can choose the bin size or either we can create a new parameter and also use the parameter to provide the input bin size. So here I am not going to create a separate parameter and provide that as input. Here we are already fixing the bin size which is 2. Now click on OK. We have created a quantity bin. So this quantity bin dimension will act as the x axis for our histogram. So we are taking this quantity bin and placing it in the column shell. Now we have our x axis. Now we are going to count the number of records for which the quantity falls within that particular pin size. For that, I'm going to take the order ID dimension and I'm going to place this order ID into raw shell. Add all members. Now this order ID act as a dimension. So we are going to convert this dimension into a measure using this measure option and changing it to count. Now we have created a measure out of the order ID dimension by counting the number of order ID. Now we have created our histogram. So X axis is the quantity bin and Y axis is the count of order ID. Now X axis is showing us value 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, which is extending up to 14. So the first bar, which is 0, is telling us that 899 records are having a quantity within 0, which is the lower limit and the upper limit will be 1.999. So that is 899 records is having a quantity between 0 and 1.99. And coming to the second bar, the quantity bin size is 2 and the quantity starts from 2 and it will extend up to 3.99 since the bin size is 2. And that is telling us that 4811 records are having a quantity between 2 and 3.99. Now, actually, we can validate this using SQL also. I can show you that also. So, let me go to SSMS. I have already created the superstore table inside SSMS. Now, let us see uh, how to replicate the same histogram or each values in SSMS. Now, let us validate the first bar, which is having a bin size of 2 and the bin value extends from 0 and 1.0 0 to 1.99 and the count of order ID is 899. So let us write a select clause count of order underscore ID. Uh, I am going to give a name record count. This is from the superstore table and we are going to give a where condition. Inside the where condition, I am going to specify the quantity condition which we have specified. That is quantity is less than 2. That is quantity value will be between 0 and 1.99. Now let us execute this. Hopefully we should get 899. Now we can see that we got 899 and when I come to the histogram which we created in Tableau, the same value we are having on Tableau which is 899. Now let us validate the second bar which is having a count of order ID 4811 and the value extends from 2 to 3.99. Let us see that also. So instead of this less than 2, I am going to modify this where condition. So quantity is greater than or equal to 2 and quantity less than 4. Now let us execute this. 
and see what is the result. So we have 4811. So this wear condition is telling us that the quantity value should be between 2 and less than 4 which is basically 3.9999 and it will extend. So this many number of order IDs or number of records are having a quantity value between 2 and 4 in that 2 is inclusive. So the values are matching here we have 4811 and coming to the bar chart sorry histogram which we created in tableau here also we have 4811 so this is how we use histogram to visualize the distribution of different measures in tableau or in any other tool